Yo, what's up guys? Austin More Skills Gaming. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fish in Dinkum, right? So I've been fishing a lot lately in Dinkum, catching a lot of fish, and I've learned quite a bit about it. I just advanced to level 8, and I can now craft a copper fishing rod. Alright, so first things first, in order to fish, you need to get a fishing license. And you can get a fishing license from Fletch. Um, Fletch is where you get all your license from. Now let's say that you do talk to Fletch and they're not giving you the option for a, f a fishing license. You just gotta do some more uh, achievements, right? So, you just gotta do some more milestones. And once you've done enough milestones, eventually the fishing license will be unlocked. And then once you have your fishing license, the next thing you need to do is you need to go speak with John right here. And purchase a fishing rod. It'll be 1260 Dinkum coins. So let's go fishing. Now I will say fishing is actually kind of profitable early in the game. Um, I've made about 30 to 50,000 a day just from fishing. So I think it's a pretty good way to make money. But I'm still learning a lot about this game. There's still a lot that, you know, I don't really know about, but I'm learning things. Another thing that makes fishing uh, really easy, if you get one of these things, uh, it's a vehicle. You'll actually need to get a vehicle permit to get this little uh, rowboat right here. But these things are pretty cool because you can just like, you know, scan the ocean and see if there's any fish over here. There's a shark over here. Now, can you catch a shark? I haven't caught a shark, but I've actually taken out a shark before with my spear. I don't think you can actually catch a shark. Nope. So you hold your mouse to reel in your rod. Now another thing you can do too is, while you're holding the mouse, you can actually rotate it by using the A and the S keys. You kind of like change the direction of it, of where you want to cast your rod. And obviously, you know, you want to cast your rod where there's going to be fish. We got a little fish right here. And as soon as they bite it, you want to keep pressing the mouse, right? As they're trying to go get away. Now, when they stop uh, trying to get away, that's when you hold the mouse to reel it in. And bam, we caught a blue fish. Fish trying to get away, we press the mouse. Fish not trying to get away, we hold it and we reel it in. Now, if you do the opposite of that, you'll see like this little uh, this little bar. And so if you do the opposite of that, you're going to like drain the bar. And then if you drain the bar, the fish is going to get away. Here, I'll show you. Actually, I think I might actually catch this fish. And then I'll show you. I don't think I've caught this fish yet. I think this is a new fish that I have not seen yet. A goat fish. Yeah, I have not seen the goat fish. I wonder if it's like greatest of all time fish. Okay, so I'm gonna like show you what happens if uh, you mess up, right? All right, so I'm gonna purposely miss this fish right here and show you what happens. All right, so he's trying to get away. I was holding the mouse and it got away. Now you also want to be careful for sharks and crocodiles, right? That, that is the only risk if you're taking your boat out to the lake. Oh mama. Now, should you swim with the sharks? Probably not. You probably shouldn't swim with the sharks. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh, God. Don't, don't swim with the sharks. But yeah, fishing is a pretty easy concept. It doesn't really take too much to do. And I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next video. Peace.